Hello, I'm Reverend Rachel Foster and I'm from Pouringland Church and this assembly is talking about forgiveness and sacrifice, which is something we're thinking about a lot in the Christian church, particularly at this time when we're now starting to approach Easter. So there'll be two parts to this assembly and they may help you to understand what Jesus came to do, what Christians believe about Jesus and why we have Easter as a central part of our Christian faith. So first of all, forgiveness. I'm going to show you two pictures, cartoon pictures, of very, very similar insects, but are also very, very different. There's this one. And this one. Both black and orange striped. Both with a sting in their tail. You can see the little sting there in that one. And you can see the sting in this one. But you'll notice they do look very different. This one looks really rather angry and a bit fierce. And this one looks rather cute. Well, of course, you will have guessed. I'm looking at wasps and bees. And there are a great many differences between them. Bees are pollinators and they eat plant pollen. And of course, we know that bees, some varieties of bees, also make honey. That's why we've got the little honey pot here. And wasps are predators because what wasps do is they eat other insects. And he looks very fierce, this one, doesn't he? If I was another insect, I don't think I'd want to meet him. But as a human being, I'm not sure I like meeting wasps very much. Because bees are less aggressive than wasps. I don't know why that is, but they are. Have you ever been stung by a bee or a wasp? I have, and it's jolly painful. Well, I'm going to tell you a story about a boy and a wasp. Because one day a little boy was sitting on a park bench. He was obviously in pain. His eyes were all screwed up and tears were pouring down his face. And under his breath, he was muttering, ouch, it hurts, ouch. A woman who was walking past came to sit with him and she asked him gently, what's the matter? The little boy answered between gritted teeth, I'm sitting on a wasp. The woman looked rather puzzled and asked, well, why don't you get up? Clenching his teeth, the boy replied, because I figure out that if I stay here, I'm hurting the wasp more than the wasp is hurting me. That's a bit crazy, isn't it? Because as you will know, wasps can actually sting us many, many times. Whereas a lot of bees, if they sting you, they actually die afterwards. They only have one sting. So what of that? Sitting on a wasp to punish it because it has stung you. And of course, it will sting you time and time again while you're sitting on it. I don't think that's necessarily a true story, but it is a story that helps us to think about the power of forgiveness. Can you think of a time when not forgiving someone could hurt us? What about when a friend is unkind to us and we decide never, ever to play with them again? Because this could make us feel lonely and we may end up losing what had been a really close for a friendship, a good close relationship, when it would have been so much better to sort the problem out, to forgive and then to move on. Because unforgiveness often hurts the person who will not forgive more than the person who did something wrong in the first place. If you think of the wasp, the wasp stung the little boy, so he sat on it because he ended up far worse off. Because forgiving is not always easy and sometimes we need to find some help, perhaps an adult, to come and help us to sort it all out. But it's always good to try and put our relationships right. It's always much better in the long run. So what about sacrifice? Well, I've got here a little box, which you'll see has got two hearts, which are sort of superimposed on each other, and a number 50. And some of you may have seen one of these before. And inside it is a little bin badge, it's a little medal. 
And this has been awarded to somebody who has given or donated blood 50 times and actually has gone on to donate a lot more since then. And of course, that's why you get the two hearts superimposed, because it's one person's heart giving to another. Now, it takes a lot to get that medal because you can only give blood three times a year and you have to be fit and healthy. So that's a huge achievement to get that medal. Now, as Christians, we believe that Jesus came to show us what God is like. And part of Jesus' teaching was about forgiveness. And he recognises and God recognises that we cannot get it right all the time. So Jesus, he came and donated himself donated his body, his blood, as a sacrifice for all the wrong things that have ever been done. And that is what we think about Easter when we think about the cross. And as Christians, we know that we can turn to Jesus at any time. We pray and we can say that we are sorry. And he always forgives us when we are truly sorry. I'm going to ask you to put your hands in the air. Just both hands up in the air. And I want you to think. You can put a hand down if you've never, ever told a lie. Oh, I can't put a hand down there. What about put a hand down if you've never, ever had a fight with your brother, your sister, your mum or your dad? No, I can't put a hand down. What about... Put your hand down if you've always done everything you've ever been told to do. No, I still can't put a hand down. What about this one? I know. Put your hand down if you've never, ever been in a bad mood. Oh, I know I was grumpy last week, so I still can't put my hand down. Have you all still got hands in the air? But well, it would seem that we all need forgiveness for things and we all need to be able to forgive others. I know that I do. Now, because when we get older, we could be blood donors and maybe win medals like this one. And as we grow, we can all learn to be the very best of who we are and treat each other with respect. But we also must remember that we all get it wrong sometimes. In fact, I couldn't put hands down there. And we must treat others the way we would want to be treated when we make mistakes. Treat them the same way when they make mistakes. We could be like the boy on the bench and seek to make another suffer. But of course, as we know in that story, we only end up worse off ourselves. Or of course, we can seek to forgive and to be forgiven and be more sacrificial towards each other in how we treat each other. Jesus sacrificed himself to show us just how loving and amazing God is and to help us to live the best way that we can. Has anyone ever done anything to annoy or hurt us? Yes, they have, because it's part of being human. We get it wrong, don't we? But I wonder, are any of you still bearing a grudge against someone, you know, holding it against them still, maybe even after a really long period of time? And of course, when that happens, these things just linger and linger and linger. And in a way, they get bigger. We need to remember the story about the boy and the wasp. We need to stop sitting on our unforgiveness and nursing our anger. Do we need to forgive? Possibly we do. Well, I'm going to say a prayer. And if you'd like to make it your prayer, then please join me in the Amen at the end. Dear God, you understand all about unforgiveness and what it does to people. And you sent Jesus as a sacrifice to show us that we needed forgiveness. Thank you for forgiving us when we get things wrong. Please help us to forgive others. Amen. Well, I shall look forward to seeing a lot of you, I know, at the end of term in church. So, until then. Bye-bye.